Hi, this is Penny, and tonight it's 10.53 p.m. Manila time, and tonight I am honored once again to be speaking to a friend of mine, a good, good friend of mine. I call her Ate Rose. Uh, she is based in California, and I've met her because kapatid siya nung inaanak ko and my BFF. And 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 uh, yeah, I just wanted to find out how she is. Come come na Ate Rose, introduce yourself first and what you do in California. Good morning. It's 8 a.m. or close to. My name is Rose. I am a physical therapist, essential healthcare worker, they call us here in California. So <clears throat> actually I was honored to be invited to by Miss Penny. I love her endeavors. So, here I am. Hindi ba kayo lockdown dyan? Yes, we are. The state of. And it was, um, I think, can't, can't keep up with the timeline. A week after the national emergency was declared was when California governor did our lockdown, um, you know, orders. Mm -hmm. So, as a consequence, it's not by city naman. It's within the state. So, thankfully as opposed to what I hear in the Philippines, where <clears throat> you have to actually really, they, they really restrict you parang per city. I'm hoping it doesn't get that far, but um, yeah, we are in lockdown, but I still continue to work. I'm the only one working, exiting and entering this household of five right now. Mm -hmm. So essential health worker considered. Considered, we were given by our employers um, a piece of paper lang naman signed by our administrator at kung sino man ang gusto mag signed on to allow us to leave and travel. They call it a travel pass. And being that I'm also uh, what they call per diem, like on call in different places, yesterday was the first time I actually worked at another facility. As I was driving to that facility, I haven't been there since this whole lockdown, I was thinking in my head, oh, what if a cop pulls me over and asking why am I going? It's a city like 30 minutes away from where I live. So it's like, um, you know, across town. And Sabiko, how am I going to address this? Well, I wore my scrubs. I drove with my badge on. <laughs> And that's it, you know. But when I got there, they actually handed me their own travel pass. So the travel pass is not um, given by the city or, um, yeah, not given by the city, but employer. It's employer-based. So each employer have the, their own version of, like, a travel pass. Mm -hmm. So essentially, your work hasn't been hampered because of the lockdown. So because essential health worker, ka. <laughs> Yes, in a way, it's a blessing. I guess you call it a blessing and a curse at the same time. It's a blessing that I am still employed and working because I couldn't even fathom what would be because a lot of all my healthcare duties are not at the telehealth level. You know, they're hands on. It's not like something I could just direct. There are certain um, settings that are starting to build that and are putting that in place. But with us, they're all inpatient, meaning they're in a facility, they're in a hospital, so they have to be addressed there. A curse because you have to be diligent, you know, I always say and pray for diligence in what I do. To an extent, it's a good thing because most healthcare workers <clears throat> are known to sort of, um, I wouldn't use the word neglect, that's very harsh, but really oversight, my oversight, a degree of oversight with reinforcing what we should be doing as far as healthcare personnel in terms of applying universal precautions, you know, hand washing techniques, um, removing gloves, hand washing techniques are really the key. It's been an established um, most effective way of deterring spread of any virus, no matter how simple, even the cold virus is really like hand washing and healthcare workers are not as diligent, you know, in the course of day-to-day -day interaction. And we see that even in movies. But now it's like, I feel like our healthcare workplace now is at its cleanest because <laughs> you inhale Clorox and bleach every moment, you know, they Clorox and bleach our mouse, our keyboard, our computer, our desktop, just the whole workspace besides actual patient care area. 
doorknobs, handles, windows, things you couldn't even think of. So it becomes a new norm. So it kind of raised that you know, standard to where it should be. Let's put it that way. It's kind of like having your um, district um, visit you in schools and the teachers really function at par, <laughs> like yeah. the way they should be doing. But in fact, you shouldn't be scared when you get visited if you actually are doing those things, you know, it's just much more reinfor reinforced nowadays, you know. So it's, uh, it's hard because it's now so thought of. I mean, take this for example, because that's been ingrained in my head. So as I drive home, I'll swing by the grocery because, again, I'm the only person entering and exit our home. So I'll go get some groceries. As I'm driving home, I'm already thinking of where I place the alcohol wipes, you know, the Clorox bleach what items I can use the Clorox to disinfect. Because Clorox uh, bleach-based uh, wipes or any um, cleaner leaves a film or a residue. You guys know that, right? With any technology. Like our computer screens now are so hazy because of the film that it leaves. It has a residue, whereas alcohol doesn't. So I have to be cognizant that when I'm at home, I have to use all my alcohol-based cleaning stuff. You know, so... Literally, like from the handle of my um, door, well, the mm. car, the the steering wheel, I mean, just everything, you know. And then the bag that I'm going to bring in to bring the food, I have to make sure I also wipe it down because I never know where it does. Actually, when I grocery shop, I have that uh, reusable, recyclable bag. It's already on my shoulder. I don't even place it on the cart. So whatever I can carry, it means that's all I'm taking in, you know, at this time. Mm -hmm. It's so methodical. It requires so much thoughtful process. It, it requires so much thinking. Like you have to be in high alert of anything that you could possibly touch. I know it goes, <clears throat> sometimes I'll tell my mom, boy, am I just going crazy about this, you know, because it kind of makes your head really turn. It's exhausting mentally to really think, did I cover the bases? I come into the house. Everybody stays apart from me until they see me really um, undressed. <laughs> I leave my clothes in the garage and then run to the shower, bathe thoroughly, thoroughly, soap and water. And then that's when I actually set foot in the house and greet my kids and my parents. It's so hard. <laughs> I'm used oh, to yeah. my kids, you know, immediately. So, but it is for everybody's safety. So, and then in over dinner, that's when we... It's a good thing, although this is like our common practice. We eat dinner together. They wait for me anyway, even pre-COVID and all that. But our points of discussion are like the things that they hear in the news. <clears throat> My parents contribute that because they listen to the Filipino channel. Then I contribute what I know. And then I reinforce training even with them, like how to take their vitamins, how to even wash hands thoroughly. You know, usually we just wash them soap and water. No, you gotta sing, ABC, happy birthday, whatever it requires. And they said even praying to our father is a whole 20 second hand washing. Amy. Oh, wow. I didn't know the our father. I heard a happy birthday twice. <laughs> Depends on how fast you pray, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, be being a health worker is, um, dangerous at this time because of of the exposure and I, I i see that you're protecting yourself right so that your family is protected as well but you have a family member here in the philippines hi joy and your sister is here who happens to be my bff so how do you how do you connect with each other you know given that you're Miles and miles apart. As always, we connect through pretty periodic um, video conferencing, thanks to FaceTime. But as I was saying, um, I do probably bug her more frequent <laughs> nowadays. And truth be said, it's nice to have the convenience of FaceTime, but the added convenience of knowing that, ah, oh, she doesn't need to be in bed a certain time because now she's work at home. <laughs> so I bug her more frequent. And she's like a source of joy. Every time I feel like, oh, you know, I'm going out into the world again. So as I'm getting ready in the morning, besides my morning prayer, I know there's an order of things. You know, I, I do command the morning. You know, I command it to be a good day and that I will be um, divinely protected. Then I, 
I, I get my dose of joy from FaceTiming. Then it really she, does help. Uh, then she commands me. To <laughs> get joy. I'm you included. Yourself the man. I'm, I'm, included uh, I'm included in the order oh. of commands. Yeah. Oh, Hi, that's everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm Joy. I'm the BFF <laughs> for those who follow Miss Penny's videos, pages, and activities. I'm there and behind the scenes. <laughs> behind the scenes and behind her. And behind the camera. And behind the camera. <laughs> so I'm I'm here in uh, Quezon City. <laughs> Where the lockdown there is, is a lockdown and a community quarantine. Um, same with my sister. I'm the only person allowed to leave the house. Uh, here, each barangay, the smaller barangays, are given quarantine passes. Uh, senior citizens are not allowed to leave the house. Oh, the senior citizen, you should know that. Um, so I'm the only one. I have a household of um, five then, <laughs> two senior citizens, and mm. two, bo two hungry boys all the time, <laughs> and me. So I'm the only one allowed to uh, leave the, the house because the pass is under my name. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, specified passes like yes. specific to a person. Uh, yeah. officially wow. it has to be like that. The the general rule is you have to have that pass and you have to have an ID that indicates your residence, uh, residential address. But you know how it is here. Each barangay, each person in the checkpoint, each uh, officer who flags you down and. Uh, asks you they have their own protocol and they have their own ways so sometimes you get asked sometimes they let you pass sometimes you can give the pass to somebody else <laughs> they, wow. sometimes they don't they don't read it but the official rule is that the pass is on an individual basis right enjoy enjoy it you're working from home right so, yeah. so Patty Rose, Rose has to go out because she's an essential health worker and you work from home. I I am an essential oil user. <laughs> <laughs> I can say you're no essential. Oh, I okay. am uh, I am non-essential <laughs> according to my dad. So I <laughs> I work from home. Uh, well, in the past, I've always been working from home on certain days. It's the first time I'm working from home for. Every day in the last two weeks, this is the second week. Uh, I'm in HR. I'm doing recruitment. I work for an IT company, and uh, from the time that the community quarantine was implemented, we have enforced uh, a work from home process for all our employees and all our consultants. So, how is it like working from home, knowing that? Hindi, are you fully ready to work from home? Uh, because we're in IT. So technology-wise, yes, we are equipped. We are um, prepared for that. Uh, we have, I, I, I think the essential is because we're all working on laptops, we can take it home. We have a good internet connection at home. And because it's a norm in the IT industry that most people will, will have that flexibility to operate anywhere. They can do their work. My role um, being HR now in recruitment, uh, we can actually function regardless if we're in the office or not. But um, during the first week, because the, the guidelines for the community quarantine was not clear when it was first implemented. So... People are like randomly. Yeah, no, no. Some are are there are people who are anxious about it. There are those who worry. They are preparing for for some. It's like it's martial law already. Like we're on lockdown. You're not allowed to go out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, but for us, we try to keep it as business as usual as we can. So, what our day to day routine, what our deliverables are. Uh, we continued to do that. But the funny thing, when we started doing interviews, even while we were all working from home, some of the candidates would say, Ma'am, talaga, nag-i-interview pa rin kayo, nagkakagulo na. 
<laughs> so <laughs> you 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 uh, and the, there's one who would say hindi kayo natitinag ng ng virus uh, i mean you're not anxious you're not worried about the virus about all this happening you're still doing your interviews and recruitment so um, in a way, how we position it, because at first I, I had that feeling that um, they might be thinking my company, my employer is the slave driver because we're asked to do the same work while mm -hmm. uh, the outside world is going crazy. So what we, how we position it is that where we're trying to maximize and make good productive use of our time, even if we're working from home. Uh, two, it gives you an indication that uh, this is a stable company, which means our our projects will, will remain the same regardless if we're work from home or on quarantine. And we strongly believe that all this will pass. Come to pass. Yeah, yeah. And all yeah. this, Those everything will come to pass. And when that time comes, we want to be up and ready and get back to the regular programming mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's true i think Very that's good. that's the okay. way how most people would have to look at it those who yeah. are actually working from home okay actually, so go ahead Rose. A, like what i was stating earlier i guess you know from my and i so agree with what you're saying and good thing you have a company that's already thinking forward thinking ahead you know once this all these things shall come to pass in in that same line you know i'm thinking what are the things that we could really use to be so productive i don't need to be productive i'm already working but i mean for the people who are at home and who have the tenacity to even say they are bored ah, yes. bored <laughs> is not a word allowed in my children's vocabulary so from week one that is not even a statement to be said <laughs> Because if you cannot come up with something productive, I will come up with one, you know, a list. Do you want to self-initiate that? Or you want me to give you a list? So, so far they've been doing well. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as being bored now. Yeah. No, oh, it's just a matter of finding out what you can actually do. Uh, that, the, that word is also not allowed here in the house because i said i i can't feel i'm i'm bored i how come i don't run out of things to do and the first week of qu community quarantine i wanted to go back to the office because here it's more tedious uh in the office i just do the office work here i do the cooking in between work i have to feed them you should assign a meal see oh <laughs> We'll all go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in between and and while working, I have laundry going on in the washer. I have cooking in between my I'm doing my calls while doing my my cooking. So how come I don't feel that I'm bored? Yeah. So <laughs> I have more things to do. I think I'm more tired at home, working from home, than when I work in home. <laughs> yeah, true that. True. Yeah. Well, I can see his own. I our our lifestyle doesn't allow that. So, but yeah, I give them tasks to do. Have to uh, sidebar that tasks to do. So, Joy, you know me, and what's that? My sister-in-law says that too. Oh, I'm so scared to be your mommy. Because I give them tasks to do, like to memorize Psalms 91, two verses a day. So yesterday was reporting day because they got to verse 8. Joy, we had, oh, that's another thing, Miss Penny. I've been advocating for that. And even in a separate thread that I have with my mom, my dad, and my sister um, and nephew, I told them we have to really try to read this in just digest and take it all in because really that's the sum of protection that's the word of protection from god if you read the whole psalms 91 there's just 16 verses it basically gives us the promise that he will shield us from all these deadly pestilence so i told i was the advocate for that it started with my, my kids i said okay two verses two verses a day two verses a day and then at night we we regroup that's kind of like part of our prayer when we go night well, there are days they fall out of it, you know. 
But yesterday they came in strong when I came home. Okay, mommy, we're ready. <laughs> so uh, they got to verse eight. They actually did pretty good. And I said, do you understand? Because you have to understand for you to memorize, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like you just blankly. So I know there's processes <laughs> that kicks in there, you know. And I said, doesn't that assure you? We will all be shielded. For, you know, a thousand may fall on one side, ten thousand on your right. But none of these will come near us, you know. So that's that. Like, where do you get that promise? We don't get that from the government. We don't even get that from the scientists. No one promises any. But the word of God is the promise, you know. So now they're really incentivized. Last night I saw Zeke right, and he was trying to be ahead of my requirements. <laughs> he was doing nine and ten. So this is Psalm what? Ninety one. Ninety one. Nine one, he who okay. dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide in the shadow of the almighty. That <clears throat> okay. the rest. I have my Bible here. I read it every morning. Yeah. I so only read the gospel. So I not the read the not not the other parts of the <laughs> of the, the book. Readings. <laughs> the readings. Not I the just read the gospel. The book. I know oh, it's because, annunciation today. Oh, because we, we have the app. Oh we, yeah, you, we use the Bible app. They have the verses, uh, Bible reading. Verse of the day. Verse yeah. of the day. Yeah. Mm. But this time of this particular time since lockdown is when I started it. So yes, yeah, I was right. It's about eight days because we got to verse eight yesterday <laughs> with a little fall back here and there, you know. But because it's not, and then they ask me certain things, certain questions. You know, even the kids ask. Mommy, are you scared? That was a tough question to ask, to answer, actually. So, so what was your answer? Oh, yeah, I had to really pray about that answer right there. Oh, um, I admitted that I was, I said, my mind is certain because of, the, of what I know, the knowledge and wisdom that I know that God will protect us with his divine providence. He will set us apart. Because we know him, we know of him. But I have to admit, my flesh is still anxious. Every time I leave in the morning, I feel like I'm a warrior about to go out into the war, you know, like the warring world. So I put the I put on the armor, and I said, not just the physical armor, but the armor in my spirit. And then I start telling them, you know, the armor of God that is like breastplate of righteousness, our helmet of salvation. Um, the shoes of peace, because really peace is what we need right now. It really gets to you. I mean, as much as we can um, not joke, but still smile amidst this, but innately, I'm anxious every time I leave. So I have to wear those shoes. I have to wear the belt of truth, you know, truth, because there's so many confusing information. You just don't know where the truth is now. I mean, one day they said this virus sits in on metal in 24 hours then it becomes 72 hours then later on there's like a reading about nine app nine days <laughs> you know so i always say lord please give me the truth and only from you that i will know what the truth is and so that's also in that's in ephesians so you know i i always tell i have to wear that armor because my flesh is anxious but my mind is certain that I know who I am in Christ, you know, that he did not deliver me into this world and made me live all of this 50 years of my life for no purpose. I have to have had a purpose, you know, so it has to be a purpose-driven day. Purpose-driven life. <laughs> Di mami yung 50 eh. Ako kasi 24 lang ako. <laughs> Somehow mom got stuck in 50. Ikaw 35. 35. Let's not talk about age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know who's in quarantine yung. <laughs> uh, uh, we know who can't go out of the house. And who talks to you, Lolo Cap. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, ikaw, Joy, are you scared? No. <laughs> Seriously, no. No, because well, I will not say the part about the the 
prayers, the, the being shielded. I leave that to my sister. She doesn't have <laughs> explaining it. She's your prayer warrior. Uh, she's my prayer warrior. She prays for everyone. She prays for me. You know, my, my you should know that I, my <laughs> prayers are for myself alone. For <laughs> myself to hear alone. I can't even pray graces before me with you. So... <laughs> That, but doesn't mean I don't believe in that higher being that that the, the Lord will protect us. You know, I, I have that faith. Perhaps my faith is bigger than my fear. Oy. Oy. My teacher uh -oh. ako niyan. Okay. Uh -oh. My planner pa ako <laughs> My faith is always Did you bigger. Google that? Nasa ano, notes ko yan. <laughs> <laughs> Nag-ready ako, ha? Wait lang. Okay. Yes. So, my, my faith is bigger than my fear. I Apart from that, being protected, praying every day, starting the day with a prayer, that, you know, Lord, in all this, it's, it's really all up to you. Mm -hmm. But aside from that is because I'm, there's awareness. There's, I, I know what we need to do. I know what we should do in as far as how we can protect ourselves and i think because i'm i'm very particular in how you know you, you have to be cautious especially because i i go out of the house yeah. so i have to be ready i don't fear it because my my thought is if we panic if we're anxious all the more will will put ourselves in harm in danger mm -hmm. yeah. so, oh yeah that's so true and both of you would know I've been through 45 years. Hmm? Kala mo, ikaw lang. Oh. 45 years of... 25. Okay. Of, of crazy adventures in my <laughs> life that I never felt fear in any one of them. Oi, oi, oi. Take note. Excuse me lang. Last year's viral is different, huh? <laughs> Still. Iba naman yung faith, viral eh. Faith is uh, faith over fear. Fear. Iba oh. naman yung viral kay Joy eh. Yung viral, the <laughs> viral in the internet. <laughs> Ala That's TikTok, no? Ala TikTok. <laughs> wala pa akong viral, wala pa akong scandal. <laughs> Walang TikTok man ganun. Hey, I'd like you to do this. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Crazy See? sisters, crazy Take sisters, off. crazy sisters. Okay, so how do you make sure you mentioned that you talk to each other very often to make sure that everyone's safe? You have a prayer, you're fortunate to have a prayer warrior. And don't forget to pray for me because I did tell Joy I'm scared. Uh, I am scared. That's why, I, that's why she knows that she's my uh, funeral coordinator. But when, should this happen, there's no. Nothing to prepare, <laughs> but you know, there's uh, always have faith. This too shall pass. This will mm -hmm. pass. We just have to have faith. Yep. So, I know you have to go to work. Essential health worker. <laughs> so I'm, I'm essential. <laughs> oh, you are essential. I'm essential I'm oil, and, and I'm the essential oil user. I was doing oh, this I'm, now. <laughs> I was telling my my coaches that it's so important that you keep busy this this lockdown period because recruiters will ask you so what did you do during the lockdown you can't say I uh, just watch Netflix and I TikTok and I YouTube and I you know listen to the news you have to be productive because I'm sure recruiters will ask you this question so what last advice or last messages would you like to to share with our listeners watchers whoever will watch this um that you'd like to share with them piggybacking on your thought process with productivity i think my sister clearly laid out you know the underlying reason why she's busy at home and i wish a lot more people actually would declare that contrary to what I see in 
their own social media, <laughs> you know, like I'm bored and watching Netflix, blah, 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 this is eating their popcorn. Make use of yourselves. Find that purpose why you are at home. Again, divine separation. There is a reason why it's God dividing us, allowing the division, I'm sorry, not really dividing us. But at the same time, find that opportunity to really stay close and connect with your family. They're lucky that they're together inside the house. I have to communicate through a digital object to be close and, you know, to bond with my sister and her family, likewise. But when you're at home, I think it's great opportunity for unity. You know, the world has come to that point where it's so disunited. Hello? Did I, yeah, you know. Kaya, yeah. yung lifestyle, lalo na here in America, People come and go from work. They have different shifts. The kids have different schedule. Now they're at home and it's trying to rekindle and try to find each other. And I think that's why right now is that adjustment phase, that whole feeling of bored or at least trying to find a movie. We watch a movie as a family and thank God they're like super old and free. <laughs> Not in Netflix. <laughs> we even watch a Charles Bronson. What was that, Joy? The other week we were watching 1960. Uh, Incredible yeah. Seven, Incredibles, Incre um, Magnificent, Magnificent, Magnificent Seven. Oh, Charles Brunson. Yes, yes. So yeah. my kids get to know those generation. You think most of the kids do know that nowadays? No, I think my kids will really be just one of the rarities that would even know them because Lolo even has a sidebar story about them. <laughs> <laughs> We even watched Jean Claude Van Damme when he was still young and face lifted, not just like old and you know. <laughs> so, but they know him. They know him because we watch those movies together, and it opens up con lines of conversation and communication, like you know, from different generation. But at the same time, they were watching SpongeBob SquarePants. I've never appreciated SpongeBob when they were small because I was busy just working, and now it's like, oh, that is actually stupidly funny. But you know, it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't don't say that about SpongeBob. SpongeBob, <laughs> because my grandson was named after Patrick. <laughs> see, see, the one who lived in the pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> see, oh, yung apo ko Seth Patrick. Patrick <laughs> coming <laughs> from SpongeBob. <laughs> Favorite yun. Oh my. Gosh, who does not love SpongeBob? It is so cute until again, it's focus time, right? Because what else you have? Oh, that's the other thing, by the way, that may not be true for most households. You guys with uh, more than one TV set, <laughs> I sell my TV set to offer up. We only have one, so it allows us. Um, I tell them to, what do you call that? You, you have to take turns in giving give and take. Like Lola likes his news at a certain time, but after that, Lola watches her teleseria, which is now down because we don't have any. And then in the evening is like the kids can play their Xbox all in the same unit. So imagine how much give and take that has to happen. <laughs> so when Lola and Lola are watching, sometimes they go upstairs, do their stuff. But when it's movie time, everybody comes down again and you know, reconvenes. But that way we all watch together. That's and discipline have for you. Opinion. Yeah, uh, that's, that's discipline for you. Here, everyone <laughs> has their gadgets. Oh, but that's every, well, but the, because the kids, the kids don't have, they're, they're yes. not raised to, to have gadgets or at least to be. Wait, they have attached. a phone. No, no, phone. They're, they're, they're raised not to be attached to their gadgets. Your kids. Her kids. Our kids. Not our kids. <laughs> Oh, Joy, ikaw, since you are a recruiter then, aside from being a recruiter, 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 you're a mom, you're a wife to Papa Joe, so what can you advise? It's just a little love. Love and <laughs> What can you advise? How do you keep productive during this time? And what do you keep product be productive? Oh, now, now's the best time to, I, I think you posted something about this a few days ago now's the best time to reinvent reinvent yourself not reinvent as in like transform it to something new something different but now is the best time to learn something new learn new things you haven't 
you've been putting off to learn laging walang time there's no time now we have all the time uh, or now is the best time to go back to old um, hobbies that have been set aside so mm -hmm. it's either mm -hmm. learn new things or relearn things you already knew before um, talking from a recruitment um, my recruitment hat my hr hat now is also the time to level up your your skills to do learn on other online online, online. yeah there's right. and and because of this lockdown a lot of the organizations have offered free online services online learnings uh, i i sent the senior citizen and a link on amazon storybooks for her grandchildren <laughs> she thought it was for college so Send it to my students. <laughs> Send it to her students because I said, did you even open the link? Because those are children's story. And oh, those and are, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's Amazon audio, audio books. Audio audio books. books. So, so there are a lot of, of free resources, free materials. Uh, even in Facebook, there are local artists here who offer free art, art classes. They do it live. For, mm -hmm. for the children who are, you know, short attention span, they get stuck in their small room. So every day they have, this guy creates artwork. Uh, yoga practitioners, uh, workout specialists. Yeah, they do the Zumba online. There's so many things that could be done and could be learned right now. Now's the best time to, to do it. Yes, now is the time to reinvent and relearn and upskill. Yes. Exactly. And finish your TTT. And finish my TTT soon to be online certified. Yay. What if I just want to catch up with movies that I didn't watch all 20 years that I didn't go? Now it's that 20 years, Kanina, 50 years. <laughs> I know that I didn't go watch a movie. Ah. Well, nobody's saying naman that you're not allowed to have downtime. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's what I mean too. No, I'm I'm inferring that. That's not just me yeah. actually, but I think a lot of people it's a time to also really find that as a blessing to have the downtime as There's well. The, oh, now's the time to, to rest, to recharge. Don't, don't, you doesn't hurt to have a downtime. But and, please, and, that's, and that's what we're tell, saying. Mm -hmm. Tell the social media people not to post oh what other movies should i watch what other series and netflix while well, they're popping their popcorn if you cannot think that much just pray for us people who are out there who have to work because it's essential to keep the infrastructure going yeah so, yes yeah. you know sensitivity lang sensitivity lang. sometimes it's annoying it's annoying when, when, <laughs> yeah when they post those things just don't Ignore. Oh, yes. Just ignore yes. it and, and you just don't have to comment. skip. Yes. Yeah. Skip it. Well, I, I don't zero up a fight. That all, you know, it's just annoying. I said, like, wow, really? Have you not come to terms with, again, back to my, my, my prayer, my spiritual, you know, um, life? I would find that as an opportunity to really think and search my heart, oh God, you know, why am I not working? Why am I laid off? Why am I retrenched? You know, like, why? There's a reason to find something, like you said, to reinvent. But instead, self-absorption ends to self-absorption. Still couldn't find that purpose. Well, <laughs> but, yeah. no. it's, a, it's a different generation. Yes. Oh, I'm talking about old people, 50 above. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always, at any generation, we can always reinvent ourselves. Yeah. yeah, and find our purpose, right? Yes. Yeah. Enjoy, find your purpose. <laughs> the thing so my purpose is <laughs> And things that I you mean... will enjoy doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I know you have to go back, you have to go to work, and you have to finish. Back to laundry. Go back to laundry. <laughs> laundry at 11.30 at night. Yes, and yeah, I'm yeah. wearing my lipstick while doing my laundry. Love it, love it, love it. Only okay. me and my sister. 
<laughs> okay, I would have to say thank you, Fran, his sisters, whatever your, your married names <laughs> are. <laughs> that aside, this is the Fran, his sisters. <laughs> thank you for, for being, allowing me to have this conversation with you and recording it and sharing with it with others. Again, even though the family is apart, you're always together, and I know you're always talking to each other daily, COVID or non-COVID. <laughs> uh, but rem at the Rose, remember that when you call her at any time of the day, she's working. <laughs> oh, she's being productive. Don't oh. say she's working. She's being productive. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, no, better term. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's, Thank you. She's working because she needs to work and find <laughs> employment for Filipinos over here because <laughs> many true. people might be, you know, affected by this yes yeah after yeah. this normal. after all this after the quarantine and when we all go back to the regular programming i become an essential worker i know oh, yeah. <laughs> okay so you thank are. you you know again i will end it with saying that you know even those who are miles apart even though you are in the u.s we're in the philippines and and this COVID thing has made us even more close to each other. Um, and, and realizing that we are living in just one world, one world, we're just the same human race. And whenever this ends, it will end. This too shall come to pass. Come to pass. Yes, and, and, and we'll be a better, better race. Uh, we will go back to basics. Yes, we will go back to basics and we will know what's important for all of us. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And keep safe, huh? Keep safe. At the rose. Joy. Yeah, I Tell do. When you need what you sent me and I'll send it back to you. So mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Regards to Tatang. Bye. Bye.